Here are 30 commonly asked interview questions, along with answers for DevOps Prometheus experts. 1. What is Prometheus, and what role does it play in a DevOps environment? Answer. Prometheus is an open-source monitoring and alerting toolkit used in DevOps to collect, store, and query metrics from various systems and applications. It plays a vital role in monitoring infrastructure, applications, and services, helping to identify and respond to performance and availability issues. 2. What are the key components of Prometheus, and how do they work together in the monitoring process? Answer. Prometheus consists of several key components, including the Prometheus server for data collection, exporters to scrape data from various systems, a time series database for storage, and a query language promptle for data retrieval. These components work together to collect, store, and query metrics effectively, providing insights into system and application performance. 3. How does Prometheus collect data from different systems and services? Answer. Prometheus employs a poll-based model where it periodically scrapes metrics from targets using HTTP. Targets can be instrumented directly using Prometheus client libraries or via exporters. Exporters are specific programs that translate metrics from various systems and applications into a format Prometheus can understand making it a versatile choice for data collection. 4. How can you set up and configure alerting in Prometheus? And what is the role of the alert manager? Answer. To set up alerting in Prometheus, you define alerting rules within Prometheus configuration. When a rule evaluates to true, it generates an alert. The alert manager is responsible for handling and routing these alerts to various receivers, such as email, Slack, or custom integrations. 5. Explain the concept of labels in Prometheus and their significance. Answer. Alls in Prometheus are key value pairs associated with time series data. They allow you to add dimensions to your metrics, providing more context and enabling efficient querying and aggregation. Labels are instrumental in grouping, filtering, and identifying metrics. 6. In a high availability setup, how can you ensure redundancy and fault tolerance for Prometheus? Answer. For high availability, you typically set up multiple Prometheus instances and employ a shared storage backend for the data. This approach ensures redundancy and fault tolerance, allowing one instance to take over if another fails. Use clustering or federation for distributing data and queries. 7. What is the role of exporters in the Prometheus ecosystem? And can you name some common exporters? Answer. Exporters in Prometheus are software components that collect and expose metrics from various systems and services. Common exporters include the node exporter for system level metrics, the black box exporter for probing endpoints, and the GMX exporter for Java applications. 8. How can you secure Prometheus against unauthorized access and data breaches? Answer. To secure Prometheus, you can use various methods such as enabling TELS or CSCL for communication, implementing access control using authentication, and configuring network policies. Additionally, firewall rules, IP whitelisting, and network segmentation can be employed to enhance security. 9. Describe the relationship between Grafana and Prometheus in a monitoring stack. Answer. Grafana is a visualization and dashboarding tool that can be integrated with Prometheus. Grafana fetches data from Prometheus and allows users to create custom dashboards and set up alerts. This integration enhances the visualization and alerting capabilities of Prometheus. 10. How can you monitor the health and performance of Prometheus itself? Answer. You can monitor Prometheus using various methods, such as scraping its own metrics using the Prometheus self-monitoring endpoint. Additionally, you can set up alerting rules to detect issues in the Prometheus server itself and use external monitoring systems to track its health. 11. What are recording rules in Prometheus, and when are they useful? Answer. 
Recording rules in Prometheus allow you to pre-compute frequently used or computationally expensive expressions and store the results as new time series. They are useful for improving query performance and simplifying complex queries. 12. Explain the role of Prometheus pull model in monitoring compared to the traditional push model. Answer. Prometheus uses a pull model where it periodically scrapes metrics from targets. This approach puts the onus on Prometheus to collect data. In contrast, the traditional push model relies on monitored targets sending data to a collector. The pull model provides more control and flexibility in data collection. 13. How can you handle metric and label naming best practices in Prometheus to ensure consistency? Answer. To ensure consistency in metric and label naming, establish naming conventions and guidelines. Create a naming scheme that reflects the purpose of the metric and includes relevant labels for context. Document these conventions and educate the team on best practices. 14. What is the purpose of histograms and summaries in Prometheus, and how do they differ? Answer. Histograms and summaries are used to measure and report the distribution of values. The primary difference is that histograms provide bucketed observations, while summaries provide quantile measurements. Summaries are typically more suitable for monitoring and alerting. 15. Can you explain the concept of federation in Prometheus and its use cases? Answer. Federation in Prometheus enables one Prometheus server to scrape and collect data from another Prometheus server. This is useful for aggregating data from multiple instances, or for creating hierarchies of Prometheus servers, such as when monitoring multiple data centers. 16. How can you integrate Prometheus with Kubernetes for monitoring containerized applications? Answer. To integrate Prometheus with Kubernetes, you can use service discovery mechanisms provided by Kubernetes to dynamically discover and scrape pods. Additionally, Prometheus provides an official Kubernetes service discovery configuration, making integration straightforward. 17. Describe the process of updating and version management for Prometheus and its components. Answer. To update Prometheus and its components, follow a version control process that includes testing updates in a non-production environment. Maintain configuration and backup procedures to ensure smooth updates. Prometheus release notes and documentation are essential references for version management. 18. What are the main benefits of using remote storage solutions with Prometheus? And name some examples. Answer. Using remote storage with Prometheus offloads long-term storage, reducing the local storage load and enabling long-term data retention. Examples of remote storage solutions include Thanos, Cortex, and Amazon S3. 19. How do you troubleshoot common issues or performance bottlenecks in a Prometheus setup? Answer. Troubleshooting Prometheus involves examining logs, querying metrics, and using built-in instrumentation. Key tools for troubleshooting include Prometheus's Expression Browser, Pronkle, and Exporters, which offer insights into system performance and data ingestion. 20. What is the Prometheus Operator, and how does it simplify Prometheus management in Kubernetes? Answer. The Prometheus Operator is a Kubernetes native tool for managing Prometheus instances and related resources. It simplifies configuration, scaling, and management of Prometheus in a Kubernetes environment by using custom resource definition CRDs and controllers. 21. How do you ensure data backup and disaster recovery in Prometheus? Answer. To ensure data backup and disaster recovery, Regularly backup the Prometheus data directory and configuration files. Store backups in a separate location and test restoration procedures. High availability setups can also enhance resilience to failures. 22. Explain the principles of alerting on burn rate and for duration in Prometheus alerts. Answer. In Prometheus alerts, burn rate refers to the rate of change in a metric. 
while for duration specifies how long the condition must persist before triggering an alert. Alerting on burn rate helps capture rapid changes, and for duration provides temporal context. 23. How can you set up and use the push gateway in Prometheus for metrics collection? Answer. The push gateway is used when metrics need to be pushed to Prometheus. It acts as an intermediary to temporarily store metrics pushed by jobs that do not have long-lived instances. Typically, batch jobs use the push gateway to export their metrics to Prometheus. 24. What is the role of the black box exporter in probing and monitoring network services? Answer. The black box exporter is used for probing and monitoring network services and endpoints. It performs HTTP, HTTPS, DNS, TCP, and ICMP probes to verify the availability and functionality of these services. 25. Describe how to implement rate-based alerts in Prometheus to detect sudden changes in metrics. Answer. Rate-based alerts in Prometheus involve calculating the rate of change in a metric over a specified time window. By setting up alerts based on rate changes, you can detect sudden spikes or drops in metrics that may indicate issues. 26. How can you handle cardinality challenges in Prometheus, and what are the consequences of high cardinality? Answer. Cardinality refers to the number of unique label value pairs in metrics. High cardinality can lead to increased resource consumption and query latency. Handling cardinality challenges involves carefully selecting and managing labels, using relabeling, and aggregating data when necessary. 27. What is the role of console and other service discovery mechanisms in Prometheus, and how do they simplify dynamic environment monitoring? Answer. Service discovery mechanisms like console allow Prometheus to dynamically discover and scrape targets in a dynamic environment. This simplifies monitoring as it adapts to changing instances and services without manual intervention. 28. What are some best practices for designing efficient and effective alerting rules in Prometheus? Answer. Best practices for designing alerting rules in Prometheus include setting appropriate thresholds, using meaningful alert names and labels, and documenting the purpose of each alert. Additionally, prioritize actionable alerts over informational ones to reduce alert fatigue. 29. Explain the role of relabeling in Prometheus and provide an example of when it might be used. Answer. Relabeling in Prometheus allows you to transform, filter, or rewrite labels on scraped data. It can be used to standardize label formats or filter out unwanted data. For example, relabeling can be used to normalize host names to simplify querying. 30. How can you monitor the availability and performance of a database with Prometheus? And what database exporters are commonly used for this purpose? Answer. To monitor a database with Prometheus, you can use database-specific exporters like the PostgreSQL exporter or the MySQL exporter. These exporters collect metrics about the database's performance, queries, and connection statistics. They enable monitoring and alerting on database health and performance. These questions and answers cover a range of topics related to Prometheus and its role in monitoring and observability. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and web stack development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.